Men have been staging a huge rally in the port city of Aden as part of their efforts to carve out their own independent state. The march was organized by the Southern Transitional Council, backed by the United Arab Emirates. And the council wants to split war-torn Yemen into two, north and south, just as it was before reunification in the 1990s. Hakim al-Masmari is the editor of the Yemen Post. He's joining us live from the capital, Sana'a. Tell us what the message is uh, behind this rally that we saw in Aden today. More friction, m more danger for Yemen. Uh, it wasn't enough that Yemen was facing a war, uh, an epidemic, and now an internal crisis of uh, separation. These calls have been ongoing for the last uh, couple of years, but again, uh, they're asking for um, uh, independence, but who's asking for independence? So that, uh, those who are allied by the UAE. So uh, it doesn't make sense that you want independence from the North, where, where in, in reality, it's the UAE who's seeking this and not the Southern people or under their command. The problem is right now that this protest uh, will block a very big portion of the uh, Yemeni community in the south. There are hundreds of thousands of um, uh, loyalists or uh, those who are, are allied with the Islah party, the Muslim Brotherhood party in, in, in the south. And today, this party was announced as a blocked party in the south. So this will cause more friction, more dangers for Yemen from within. It follows the same footsteps that Bahrain took yesterday and the UAE and Saudi of blocking the uh, Brotherhood from politics in those areas. How unified um, is the secessionist solution, movement in the that south will... of Yemen right now? How, how unified is it or perhaps how divided of it is it? And does the southern uh, transitional council speak for most of the people in the south? This protest today shows how divided the country is, especially in the south. Those who were um, protesting today are uh, supported by the UAE, and they're protesting against the government that is supported by President Hadi, by Saudi Arabia. So you have a Saudi uh, UAE tension in the south. Uh, President Hadi is backed by, the, by Saudi Arabia, and the protesters today are, uh, called that they do not recognize him as president. So you have friction from within the Saudi alliance in Yemen, those who are allied to Saudi and those who are allied to um, uh, UAE. And it, it, it only complicates the situation in Yemen and we, we will see more friction, more problems, more killing in the south of Yemen um, as the weeks pass by because you cannot remove an entire entity or, or political party from the south and, and announce that it, does not, it is not represented in the south like what happened today. Right. Okay. Hakim al-Masmari, thank you for speaking to us from Sana'a. Well, Yemen has been devastated by more than two years of war between a Saudi-led coalition and the Iranian-aligned Houthi group. As Al Jazeera's social video team explains, it's pushed the country to the brink of famine and made it a breeding ground for diseases like cholera. The world's